Attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal End Compliance, a full service corporate securities and business transactions law firm. Today is the continuation in a law cast series talking about the new amendment to the SEC definition of a smaller reporting company. On June 28, 2018, the SEC adopted the much anticipated amendments to the definition of a smaller reporting company as contained in Securities Act Rule 405, Exchange Act Rule 12b2, and Item 10f of Regulation SK. The topic of disclosure requirements under Regulation SK as, pertains to, as pertained to disclosures made in reports and registration statements filed under both the Exchange Act and the Securities Act have come to the forefront over the past couple of years. Regulation SK, as amended over the years, was adopted as part of a uniform disclosure initiative to provide a single regulatory source related to non-financial statement disclosures and information required to be included in registration statements and reports filed under the Exchange Act and the Securities Act. A public company with a class of securities registered under either Section 12 or which is subject to Section 15, 15D of the Exchange Act must file reports with the SEC. The underlying basis of the reporting requirements is to keep shareholders and the markets informed on a regular basis in a transparent manner. Over the years, Regulation SK has not been kept current with other rule changes, and arduous reporting requirements for smaller companies has resulted in stifled capital formation and fewer smaller IPOs, and investors have questioned the quality and relevancy of information required to be included in reports. The SEC disclosure requirements are scaled based on company size. The SEC established the smaller reporting company category in 2007 to provide general regulatory relief to these entities. Prior to this rule change that I'm speaking about, a smaller reporting company was defined in the Securities Act Rule 405, Exchange Act Rule 12b2, and Item 10f of Regulation SK as one that has a public float of less than $75 million as of the last day of their most recently completed second fiscal quarter or a zero public float and annual revenues of less than 50 million during the most completed fiscal year for which audited financial statements are available. As indicated in part one in this LawCast series, the new definition of a smaller reporting company will now include companies with less than a 250 million public float as compared to the 75 million threshold in the prior definition. In addition, if a company does not have an ascertainable public float or has a public float of less than 700 million, a smaller reporting company will be one with less than 100 million in annual reven revenues during its most recently completed fiscal year. The SEC has competing goals of protecting investors and in the marketplace through requiring companies to provide disclosure needed to make informed investment decisions and voting decisions, and on the other hand, to promote capital formation and reduce compliant costs for smaller companies. The SEC believes that by raising the financial thresholds for the smaller reporting company definition and thereby expanding the number of companies eligible to use the available scaled disclosure, it will be satisfying its goals and appropriately responding to comments and recommendations by the Advisory Committee on Small and Emerging Growth Companies, the SEC business, uh, Government Business Forum on Small Business Capital Formation, Congress, and many industry commentators. The SEC summarizes many of these recommendations, initiatives, and comments in its rule release. For example, in September 2015, the SEC Advisory Committee on Small and Emerging Companies met and finalized its recommendations to the SEC regarding changes to the disclosure requirements for smaller reporting companies and smaller traded companies. 
The FAST Act, which was passed into law on December 4th, 2015, required the SEC to scale or eliminate duplicative, antiquated, or unnecessary disclosure requirements for emerging growth companies, accelerated filers, smaller reporting companies, and other smaller issuers in Regulation SK. I'm securities attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal Edge Compliance and producer of LawCast. Should you have any questions about today's topic, please visit securitieslawblog.com and lawcast.com or contact me directly. Inquiries of a technical nature are always encouraged.